We're in downtown Cleveland at the Cleveland Convention Center, getting ready to go inside to see the National Train Show. Hello, rail fans. This is Bob from the Bob's N Scale Man Cave. I'm at the National Train Show here in Cleveland, Ohio. And as you can see, we have a lot of things to see here. I'll be showing you a few things. Uh, N scale wise, of course, and just about every scale that's here. So stay tuned and uh, we'll have a bunch of videos. We have a lot of modular layouts here from Z scale all the way up to O scale and just about everything in between. We even have Lego layouts and these huge modular layouts, which we'll be looking at later. A little behind the scenes with James Wright. He was king. We are here at Microtrain's booth, and these are my favorite uh, kind of cars. These are the July releases, and I, of course, have the Nose Art uh, container car, which is coming up right here. Sleepy Time Gal. That is the third car in this series to be released. They release one every month. We also have some uh, box cars and some hopper cars in uh, box sets. Along with a bunch of other stuff that is coming out. Check out microtrains.com for all their supplies and stocks and releases. We're over to Exact Rail. Where they have some N scale stuff. Those uh, flat cars are not N scale, obviously, they're HO, but we have some bulkhead flat cars and some gondolas, some reefers, and some box cars. We also have some more HO stuff in stock. You could have bought a lot of this stuff at the show right from Exact Rail. There's more stuff here at the train show, stay tuned. And we went over to BM. LMA and looked at some of their N-scale items. They have a lot of 60 foot flat cars and a wide variety of road names. Those look really nice and they also have some flat cars with pipe loads. You can buy the pipe loads by themselves and put them on there and we also have some bridges over to the Atherin N scale display and there wasn't a whole lot there but most of the stuff there was HO and we have some uh, cool buildings that you can make uh, some castle car wash and we have some uh, little wood pieces like some coffins and some container boxes and some uh, fire station stands and all sorts of different buildings. This is a 19th century covered road bridge. It's not for trains, but it's a covered bridge for like horses and model A's. And we have some sexy scenes from Knock. And then we also have some Woodland Scenics buildings here. These are all HO landmark structures, which are built and ready structures which means they've already been modeled for you and everything. You don't even have to paint them, they're already made. So if you don't have a lot of time to make models, these are already done for you. But you're gonna pay a lot of money for them. Here's some of the N-scale versions of the landmark structures. And you have some uh, houses and office buildings. And, uh, I think there was a gas station in there somewhere. Clyde and Dale's Barrel Factory. We also have some apartment complexes. There's the gas station. And you even got a burger joint there. And some windmills. This is pretty cool. You can use your iPad Mini, a uh, Samsung tab, Galaxy Tab. Also a Kindle Fire. You 
do have to buy those yourself and put your own movies on there, but they slide right in there and you can watch the movie while you're on your layout or TV or whatever else you want to display. Custom Model Railroads makes these buildings. A lot of them are, look like they're too scale. To, for the most part, you really can't make a 100-story skyscraper, but you can make it look like it is. And these look pretty good. Hey, you see me in one of the buildings. A lot of people make uh, pre-made buildings here. Now we go over to the MTH booth where they have some HO, S, and O scale trains. We have uh, an HO Jivo Evolution which has these green flashy lights on it. It's the Evolution Hybrid. And the Cato booth. They're releasing an 844 in and scale with sound. And we have a GS4 running on this track here. And it has sound, but the sound is not in the engine. The sound comes from somewhere else, and I'll show you that later. We have some engines that they've released that look like a Japanese steam engine earlier, and now the Chicago Northwestern. And a GP42 Genesis, and some auto racks that they're pretty proud of and some commuter uh, cars and train engines along with a lot of the smooth side car sets and the engines that go with them super liner cars so forth we have an ES44 AC Jivo in PNSF colors some yard equipment, a little forklift kind of thing for container cars and we have a turntable that Cato has just come out with this year. It looks pretty neat, but it is still kind of toyish for most people's tastes. The main reason for why it's bigger is because it did have a tiny speaker actually right. on the undercarriage. Yes. And they've they've added a much larger speaker and make it top facing so that it's, it's obviously louder. So uh, that that other than that, for the most part, the uh, the prototype is the same. Is this just strictly analog? Or? This is this is analog. Yeah. So it's mostly for you can you can just plug this into your layout. Um, you don't have to install a DCC system or decoders in your right. locomotive. Instead, you actually the de this is basically the decoder. So so uh, you you plug the the type of prototype uh, that you're looking for into that, and then it provides the the sound the sound right from there. I was heard track on that to run. Uh, that one. Absolutely, yeah. You have a line out and actually a microphone in. Oh, okay. So if you wanted to, actually, you can plug a mic in and actually either use a microphone or put your own sounds from an external source. That it will it'll be on come out of the same output. But it also has a line out um, and has a separate uh, microphone volume or microphone gain and uh, and volume. And then when you plug something into the line out, the external speaker will shut off and then it'll just go through the line out. So if you wanted to use headphones or a speaker system, yeah. I don't know. You went up right here and I was waiting for it. Well, some people. Here we are over the Bachman N scale side of their displays. And we have a lot of eh, interesting stuff like the Sombrero restaurant and a little uh, TP and stuff like that. We also have a little rocket on a flatbed and some maintenance of way cars, box cars. All these are new, by the way. The N scale 50 foot plug door box car, along with some uh, piggyback cars. And they also are coming out with some N scale steam locomotives with sound track, sound value already in it. This is going to be their first steam locomotive with sound. They also have a EMD SD45 diesel locomotive in Santa Fe colors, and of course the Union Pacific DDA40X with sound value in it. it. Looks like Bachman is going to be coming out with a lot of sound equipped locomotives in the future. Apparently their quality is starting to improve. In the Berkshire, we have a new N-scale Berkshire announced this year which will be out later in the year. 
Uh, the exciting thing about this Berkshire is that it will also be sound equipped. This will be Bachman's first N-scale sound equipped steam locomotive. Come in three, the same three road names. Three road names will be Chesapeake and Ohio, Pier Marquette, and Nickel Plate. And these guys do these trailers. These are new. You tell me when you're ready. Um, are these spread enough? Or yeah, we're good. All right. Tell me when. Good. Okay, we're releasing in end scale. 52 foot flat cars with a 35 foot piggyback trailer. These look familiar. They're based on our 8 go scale model that we released about a year ago. Uh, the, road, the road names that we will release will be Santa Fe, Baltimore and Ohio, New York Central, Reading, Atlantic Coastline and Western Maryland, all featuring colorful 35 foot trailers. And here we all go over to Cam Connect Modular Systems. And this is an Octomod that this train is running on, all eight sides. And these just snap together with coffin locks, and it's modular, and it fits perfectly. Now over to Atlas, and they didn't have a whole lot of N-scale stuff, but there is some in there. This is obviously HO, and we have some N-scale right up here. Mostly boxcars and open hoppers stuff like that. Intermountain, we go over there and they have some more items and they have a lot of boxcars and a lot of end scale stuff that has come out from the Intermountain. And Deluxe Innovations has some uh, rolling stock as well. Fox Valley Models, they're end scale. They're coming out with and scale ES44 AC heritage units arriving this fall. Some of them already sold out. Uh, the N scale SD70 Ace heritage units are also arriving this winter. So they're getting some more of those. I believe those are Norfolk Southern heritage units. And they get a wide variety of rolling stock as well. Box cars, cabooses, you name it, they've probably got something like that in your inventory. You even have some uh, engines, some Norfolk Southern engines here. And here you have their heritage units all in a displayable box with pins for each engine. This is about a $2,000 uh, set. Here we have Ralph's trains, which they put heavy machinery on flatbeds and uh, put them on your favorite rolling stock. You got all sorts of different brands of rolling stock from uh, Atherin to Atlas to you know, everybody. AHM, they put all sorts of different sizes on these flatbeds. And you can get these at ralphstrains.com. And here, Broadway Limited is bringing out a new steam locomotive, the Pennsylvania M1AB in N scale. It's going to be a die cast model, which is mean it's going to be a nice heavy model and hopefully pulls a lot of cars. This looks very interesting. They also have some EMDE units from a wide variety of road names and companies. Also Elko PAPV engines and some hopper cars off to the right there. They look really nice. And here we have some buildings by JL Innovative Design out of Sauk Rapids, Minnesota. And you have a lot of these kits are already so well uh, made that they look really, really real. 
I said yes, I know. I said really, really. But as you can see from this video, they look very real. And you can buy all sorts of little pieces to go with your buildings, make them more realistic. You know, the motorcycles and different kind of cars and people and boats and, you know, even the uh, maintenance facility for your auto garage and gas pumps and, you know, dragsters and with a trailer and everything. So, quite a lot of good stuff coming from JL Innovative Design. Love that gas station. I'm not sure if it's an end scale, but they've got bleachers for it. Let's say you have a car race, or maybe a rodeo. Whatever you want to put your bleachers in front of a football game. Who knows? Here's Tommy Tech Magic Bus. I call it a magic bus, but it just drives around on the road. It doesn't look like there's any track because it's all running on a magnetic wire system. Oh no! Legos? We've got Legos at the train show? Lego makes trains? Yes, they do. As you can see, these are real Lego sets, and that's a Monsters uh, car and house. You know, a lot of these sets you can buy at the local Toys R Us or Walmart or whatever you want to buy your Legos at. But the trains, you get them somewhere else. They even have, like, you know, pirate ships and speed boats. They made all these buildings. Huge buildings. Helicopters with rotating blades. An elevated train track. And it all runs off of controllers just like a regular model train does. And some of them even run just on batteries. You just put the batteries in and let them go. Here you get an air helicopter view flying over the city. Oh no. Hope it don't crash. This is really neat. If you got kids, this is really, really neat. You can build them, take them apart, put them back together. This guy even made a little depression in his layout. Mountain climbers on the walls. You got the Ghostbuster vehicle. They're out there busting ghosts off the roof of this house. Ectoplasm. And here we have some more of those uh, guys down here underneath the bridge. A lot of work goes into putting these together. I think it took like four day, four or five days for two people to put it all together. Well, stay tuned for part two. I'll have some real model railroad stuff coming then.